guys, this is Victoria. We are back with the fourth episode of our decluttering series. There is still some stuff to declutter in my wardrobe, so let's uh, see today what we have. Today I am decluttering my skirts and dresses. Um, I hope you will like it. Um, it's not as long this video as the last one, but if you missed the previous one, then check it out. It's uh, linked in the description box. And uh, yeah, uh, if you have missed maybe the first uh, episodes, the first three, uh, they are available on my channel. Uh, check them all out if you like this one or start with the first one and go in order <laughs> if that's uh, how you like to do things. And yeah, let's jump right into the skirts and dresses declutter today. Here are all my skirts and dresses, actually not everything. So I have a cocktail dress plus um, plus some, uh, what is it called, costumes, like with skirt and with pants, different mixes and matches, and I'm not wearing them. However, I feel like in a woman's, women's um, wardrobe there should be, you know, at least one pant costume and one skirt costume and just for the one time when you might have to wear it. This moment has not arrived in my life. I mean, I did wear them before, obviously, that's why I have them, but then, uh, yeah, since then I haven't. So I still have, for example, the costume that I wore in, in my last uh, high, sc high school year for my final exams in the high school and for the for the official part of the um, of the what is it called the prom, so I still have those things and a couple more which I will have to try on and see. So they are basically already in the maybe pile, <laughs> and then we'll do this try on video maybe next, where I try on everything in the maybe pile, including those special items. And then we come to this pile, which includes some things which I kind of already decluttered once, but then I didn't get rid of them because I was not ready to get rid of them like just like that, you know, to donate them or give them to someone. I either wanted to get some money for them or just keep them, I don't know. Um, so now I just have to make the hard decisions or I really, if I want to to sell them, I really should try to sell them, right? So one, let's start from the beginning. So I have one simple black pencil skirt, which I don't remember the last time I wore a pencil skirt, probably over 10 years ago, maybe 12, um, like a black one, I mean. You know, because in school we used to wear always black and black skirt, white shirt, yeah? But those years are over and ever since then I I didn't see the need to, to, to wear this. And I don't know, like, do you think it makes sense to keep it? Because in a woman's wardrobe there should be one black pencil skirt? Maybe I, I have to try it on, if it even fits. I mean, it probably fits because my size haven't changed since I was 17. <laughs> so yeah, it probably fits. Maybe buy then, <laughs> this one, this was, this used to be my mom's in the 90s or early 2000s and I don't know how it fit her because it barely fits me and yeah, she's um, one or two sizes bigger than me <laughs> normally, um, but it's so fancy, I mean it was part of a costume so it had also a top, um, it's so fancy, it's so cool, I mean I definitely won't get rid of it because it used to be my mom's and, and it's very cool but I want to try it on uh, to see if I, if it could make it to my wardrobe saying that I would just wear it sometimes. There was a reason why it didn't make it to my wardrobe before and it's probably because it's too small. <laughs> anyway, maybe pie. Then I have this dress which I kind of put away last year saying that I'm not sure if I want to keep it so I'm gonna put it away to see if I'm gonna miss it. I didn't really miss it but now that I but now that it's here I kind of want to wear it. <laughs> so I might wear it next week at work and see if I enjoy being in it, enjoy wearing it, wearing it 
and if I decide that it didn't bring me joy or particularly didn't I didn't particularly like to wear it, then I'm gonna declutter it. So this is also kind of maybe fine. Everything is maybe. Oof, these are hard. Eh? <laughs> there is a reason why they're still here. Um, this is a vintage skirt. Very cute. I really like it. I mean, it's my color as well, right? It used to be my mom's. It fits me. I mean, it's the right size. Uh, it's just, you know, it's kind of like a very good girl kind of vibe, like high school uniform, you know, like the length of it is a bit awkward. So I have not been wearing it. I have to try it on. Same goes with this one. This I wore it once last year and I was like, okay, this is too much grandma. This is also from my mom's wardrobe, so vintage. Maybe it's not as grandma as I thought it is. This was, so this blue one, this one and this one, they were all put away saying like, currently I'm not wearing them, but maybe I will <laughs> later on. So now it's later on. Not much later, maybe half a year later, but whatever. Um, and I'm gonna try them on again and see if I can style them. And if not, I'm gonna put them away again. I'm not gonna get rid of them. <laughs> so, then I have one little black, black dress. Everyone needs a little black dress. Oh my God, why is it so hard to say that? Um, nothing special, it's a little black dress. It's quite thick so it's also okay in the winter season with black tights and uh, blazer and I actually wanted to replace it and get a, a nicer one because this is not super fancy I wanted to get a really nice black dress you know which is like the little black dress but I haven't really been looking for it so I still have this one because just in case although I haven't worn it in a couple of years um I'm gonna still keep it <laughs> until I have a replacement for it. So far I haven't decluttered anything until this moment because this is the moment you've been all waiting for. So this dress, <laughs> this is from my high school time. Times. It's like, well, brown, first of all, brown? What did I think? <laughs> what were I, what was I thinking? Anyway, uh, this has this uh, sequence part here on the bottom. This part is still, I would say, it's quite nice, yeah? It's in a good condition, but I will never wear it because just brown, like, this is not my color. It probably still fits me, even though I had it since I was 16, 17. It, I'm pretty sure it still fits me, but it's just not my style anymore. So since it's in a very good condition, I'm gonna try to sell it. Yeah, first one to be... 100% decluttered then this is gonna be the second one so this is also super nice it's a onesie yeah it's a short one though like with shorts and then it has some uh, lace lacy part on the back it's very cool I really think it's really cool however I am a very tall and very white girl so when I wear this my very white thin legs <laughs> they stick out of it and I don't like how it looks so I'm pretty sure if I was more tanned, this would look amazing on me, but I just can't tan, so I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> then I have a blue dress. I mean, how amazing this color is. I bought it a couple of years ago. It was on sale. It was probably around 10 euros. In fact, I can't see it anymore, but the original price was 35 euros, but I got it on sale compared to that. And I never wore it, I still have the tag. <laughs> and I don't see myself ever wearing it again because it's too short. So I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> then I have two fancy dresses here. These are things that I wore for weddings this year and one of them I wore for my cousin's wedding world in 2014 and this other one I wore it as a 
as I was a bridesmaid at a friend's wedding this year. Oh my god. So this one is a wrap dress or infinity dress. That's how it's called exactly. See? Like it's infinite, really. <laughs> what was that? Something on top something. Anyway, this is an infinity dress. So basically this is like a long dress. Love the color. I really do love the color. And then on the top part, it has these long, two long things that you can wrap around however you want. There are different ways to style it. Go Google or YouTube infinity dress and the ways to put it on. So this is that dress, yeah? So it's very practical. However, it's basically 100% polyester. I'm not a big fan of the, of the material. Anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna still keep it and see if there is any other occasion when I could potentially wear it. However, this is a key pilot, say. Um, I have this other dress, which is beautiful. I got it in 2014, it was super expensive, um, at least for for someone who was at that time a student or just starting to work. It's, it's really, it's so pretty. Look, look at this beauty. I mean, it's, it's rosa or, or, or pink or blush color, which is not my color, you know that, right? <laughs> but still, I, I really like this dress. But I have another big problem, a, a big problem with it, which is, once again, I'm pretty sure, it's 100% polyester. And I was at a wedding in this dress this summer and it was 35 degrees and I was sweating my ass off. It was horrible. I mean, it even has, you know, an underskirt, which is, uh, it's heavy. Oh, I cut, I cut the label out. It's, it's beautiful, but I had to wait seven years between the two weddings to be able to wear this dress. And I don't know if I want to wait another seven years and in, a, in another seven years if I still want to wear this dress. I probably should sell this and get a nice one for an, any potential upcoming next wedding, which is not 100% polyester. I don't know if I'm ready though. I'm not ready to, to get rid of it. Anyhow. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm gonna keep it for now and see if any other potential event would come up right away or I will eventually make the cut and say this is going away. Next one. Uh, this one, I got it last year in Orsay. It's, um, it's like this part up, up until the buttocks, bottom, the bottom, the butt part. <laughs> is like quite um, body tight, or how do you say it? And then of course on the bottom it's like a um, bell, I don't know what you call it, bell kind of going out, but the, the, the length is a bit awkward and, and I'm not sure if it was supposed to be like a full length one and I'm just too tall for it or or what, but I, I would prefer if it was just until my knees, but it's definitely it's definitely longer than that. So at some point last year, when I was wearing it, I was like, this makes me look like a grandma too. Damn it, why do I have so many clothes that makes me make me look like a grandma? My other problem is, is that I don't know what top, what jacket, jumper, blazer should I wear it with without it looking too fancy. It's a knitted one, so it's not too fancy, right? But but it's a it's for winter, it's thick, so you need another layer on it and then a jacket, right? So I'm not sure how I still need to give it a, a go, maybe one more season uh, to see if I how I get along with it, if I can make it style in a way that I like. So let's see. I'm gonna keep it for now. But the next one I'm not keeping because this is a beautiful summer dress. It's from Primark. It's from 2016. Uh, that time I was still buying fast fashion, yes. Uh, but I mean, it's a five year old dress and it's still in a good condition. So it, it wasn't a bad buy and it's pretty. I really like it. And it's very, I mean, the material is super nice for summer, you know. It doesn't feel very plasticky, which I hate, especially in the summer. I don't even know what 
material is it but let's see ah it's viscose that's why um yeah so it's it's very nice however it has these stripes which keep falling off my shoulder they just keep falling off it annoys the hell out of me i actually wore this dress to another wedding a couple of years ago in 2016 yes i wore this to a wedding and as i was dancing it kept falling off and and they, if i go to the office in it it kept falling off and it's like ah, this is annoying i can't deal with this i am too old for this uncomfortable clothes clothes that annoy me they have to go so bye bye then i have this dress which i got for Christmas in 2017 when I was um, living in Argentina and my mom visited me in January 2018 and uh, ordered this dress for me from Mango and it's very pretty my only problem with this I lost one of the stripes <laughs> so I can only wear it with one stripe on around my neck which is a bit annoying because normally it should be two stripes and then this one's below the shoulders yeah so that's a bit annoying but um, other than that, it's a cute dress and I love it. So keep. Then I have another cutie. Um, I always wanted like a linen dress. Hair everywhere, of course. Um, I wanted, well, not always, but in the last couple of years, I wanted to buy a linen dress. And this is the closest I could get to a linen dress. I don't actually know what material this is. It's cotton, 100%. Well, so it's not linen, but, but it looks very airy very you know it, it's a perfect practical material for the summer i like the colors they are cute and i like that it's not too like it, it covers your body parts you know <laughs> so yeah i love this dress and definitely keep it then um when i bought that one i also bought this one which is like it looks like a jean dress long sleeve fairly long wavy whatever i love it i like it i wear it as often as i can i don't know the material of this one lyle cell never heard about that material i have no clue what that material is tell me in the comments down below what lyle cell is but basically this is made out of that material and i like it then I have a black one. Where is this from? It's from H&M from a couple of years ago. So this is a beautiful black dress. I haven't worn this dress this whole season, this summer. <laughs> um, but I do like it. I wear it and I also like that also this one is, you know, covering the upper body uh, well enough. The only thing is like a black maxi dress might not be very practical in the summer when it's super hot so this is definitely not for the 35 degrees weather but rather for the 20 to 25 to 30 30 degrees but in any case keeping keeping it <sighs> and this dress how cute is this dress i really like it i got it a couple of years ago when i was still working um, in insurance so this was before my time in the sport event industry um, and you know in, in insurance sometimes you have to dress up fancy so i got this dress for those occasions and i think it's pretty cool like it's a, it's an office wear right so the thing is <laughs> i like this dress i don't want to get rid of it but i don't need office wear i i I dress up nicely in the office but not this nicely and even when i wear a blazer people say like you could be in a t-shirt and jeans, <laughs> which I could, but do I want to? Always? No. Because I like dressing up, as you can see from all the dresses that I have and all the clothes that I have. Anyhow, I'm not sure if it makes sense for me to keep this because I don't wear it. I haven't worn it in years. So should I try to sell it? Should I put it in the maybe pie and try it on? And then, if I don't like it on me, then I can definitely sell it. Let's put it in the maybe pile. Together with all the other fancy things, like costumes that I need to, to put on. 
Then this one is the perfect dress for me. Look at this beautiful color. So this dress has a story. Um, I was invited to a wedding <laughs> where I was a bridesmaid and then we were told like after the first part, the ceremony and the official parts of the wedding, we are allowed to change our dresses. So I didn't want to stay in that green long thing with the infinity top part because it's not very secure and I wouldn't be in, haven't been able to dance my butt off in it during the party. Um, so I wanted to buy a dress for the party. And this is the dress. And I found this dress in an ethical store in, in Austria. I think this is made in Germany. I mean, the brand is called La Luca Berlin, so I guess it's made in Germany. It is... Uh, it is 92% viscose and 8% elastan. And it was so expensive when I first found it that I left it there. I was like, this is a perfect dress, but I'm not willing to pay 130 euros for a dress like this. Because it's a summer dress. And it was also end of August. <laughs> so, but then this place where they were selling this dress, they had, um, they had a sale a couple of weeks later, basically a month later, a month after I, I found the dress. And they had this dress in two, they had two pieces left, in my size and a big one, a bigger one. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if they still have it in one month when they have the sale and then if, if it's on sale, I'm gonna buy it. And guess what? They still had those two pieces and it was half price when I went back a month later. So here is it, the dress. <laughs> and I wore it once and I'm definitely gonna keep it and I need to, I need to wash it. There is a stain on it. Damn. I need to wash it. All right, then I have this, this dress, which I was wearing with, used to wear it, with the black top and the leg leggings, because it's completely see-through. I like that it's so colorful, but then I did, I decluttered it. I said, you know, like, it's very, very plasticky. I don't like to wear it in a casual, everyday kind of setting. But then I realized, oh, you know what? This is a perfect dress as a, as a cover-up for the beach. So I kept it for that purpose and I haven't been to a beach ever since. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it until the until the moment when I go to a beach holiday and then if I don't wear it there, then I'm gonna declutter it. Then I have this summer summer number and I love this. It has a little um, colibris in it. Love it. It's like very thin, airy. I got it probably second hand. I don't remember anymore because I have it for years now, so I don't remember exactly. Then I have this dark blue, my kind of color. I love this dress. Uh, you have to wear it with something below because obviously the, the cutout is a bit big, so either with a t-shirt or a shirt or, or something. It can be worn when the weather is warmer, it can be worn when the weather is cold to, to wear it with a long sleeve or something. It's very, very flattering on me. I love it. And I got it from a friend. Uh, she decluttered it from her wardrobe. Uh, it was a hand-me-down, we could say, and she is probably 20, if not more, centimeters shorter than me, <laughs> and we have the same size, so thank you very much. I still, up until today, I got it already four years ago, yes, or more, I still love it. <laughs> then I have this dress, which has, I can see some con concealer stain on it. Um, this was a second hand buy. Very, it's also very like um, officey, I guess, but I still kind of dress it in a way that I could still wear it in the office and and in in the colder months with the black warmer tights. So I still like it. I don't wear it too often, but I do wear it, and I should probably try to get rid of that stain actually. Then I have another summer dress, which I like this color, but 
it's you know i'm 31 so uh, i feel like this is for 21 year olds because like you know it has this cut out in the back as well i i like it but it's also very short i can definitely not wear it in an office setting or or at work i can maybe wear it to the beach i still like it though but it's very short maybe pile I thought I was ready to declutter it, but not. I'm not ready. This is another one which is going in the maybe pile. I got it last year in a secondhand store, but it's not working for me because this part is too big. The the cut out for for the breast area is it's just too big for me. Uh, I feel insecure when I wear this dress, even though the color is amazing. Um, also, the material it's quite plasticky, so I'm not really ideal for the summer, even though it's a summer dress. So this is another one that is going into the maybe pile. I'm gonna try it on with a different kind of um, what is it called um, underwear and see if if I can pull it off in any of my bras that I have, feeling good and secure in it. Then I have these beautiful Dorothy Perkins skirt that i got in 2012 so almost 10 years ago and i barely barely wore it because it's also office wear like like fancy office wear you know like in a in a law firm or something but i don't work in a law firm i work in sports so i never have to dress this nicely even though i love this skirt i, I don't wear it but i love it i i can't declutter it um I need to try to wear it this week in the office and see and see how I feel in it. So I'm gonna put it on to the. I have to wear it the next week. <laughs> Bye. Then I have two more mini pencil skirts. The blue one. I did, I, I uh, have it from my mom. This used to be my mom's, and um, yeah. It's kind of a vintage piece. I, I like it. I wear it quite often. I can wear it in the summer. I can wear it dressed up with a sticker, tight, um, in a colder weather. And then I have a green one, which is a bit longer, so it makes it more officey, more official, but I love the color. Um, it, oh no, there is a stain on this one too. Jesus Christ, woman, what are you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna keep both of them and I'm gonna try to remove that stain definitely and yeah this is a keep although yeah the length of it could be a bit shorter to make it uh, a little less officey and you might be wondering sometimes i'm saying it's too officey and sometimes i'm saying that this is too casual for the office <laughs> like i do work in an office well not for long <laughs> um but it's in a sport organization, so you know, like we don't have to dress super fancy, like I would maybe in a in a public office or whatever. Yeah, there's that. Then I have, I have two more skirts, and I'm gonna keep both. I mean, blue. <laughs> what else should I say? Um, and the long one. This this uh, is from my mom. It's a vintage piece, so. I, I love it. I love them both. I think they are very flattering on me. So definitely keeping them. So I have these two pieces I have to remove the stains from. I have two pieces that I have to try to wear next week. And I have a couple of pieces that I will try on in another upcoming video. <laughs> All right, so that was it. Skirts and dresses. I hope you liked it. We are going to continue with some further items. There is not much left to declutter, so we are almost there. We are almost there. Maybe one or two episodes to go. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, press the thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel and see you at my next video soon. Bye.